Hi guys, in the last couple of months a number of persons would have reached out to me in the comments asking me how they can go about selling their Cardano NFTs. Well in today's video, I have a nice platform to introduce to all of you. The platform is called cnft.io. Traditionally, you would have had to have gone on Discord to buy and sell your NFTs, but now once you use this platform, you can list your Cardano assets or tokens on this website and simply go through the process of selecting and buying or selling any asset you want. Here are a list of assets on the platform. You can always go and view the full marketplace to see the total list of assets. And once you see an asset that you like, you simply click on it to view all of its details as well as the price that they have listed it for sale. Now to get started, it's pretty straightforward. You simply go on the main page and click log in. Here you'll see a screen where you can either sign in or create your account. Once you click create account, you have to enter a username, email address and password. Click agree and then register and just like that, you are registered for the platform. Since I already have an account, I'm just going to quickly go and log in. Once you're logged in, this is your dashboard. You scroll down, you can see all of your NFTs that are in your wallet. Some I have unlisted and some I have listed for sale. So the first thing you want to do when you sign up is to connect your wallet. As you can see here, I have a wallet already connected. But to connect your wallet, you go down to add wallet. On this page, you have a QR code and an address that you're going to send an exact amount of ADA to. Once the transaction is complete, your wallet will be connected to the platform and you will be refunded some of your ADA minus the transaction fee. Now please do not send any ADA from any exchange. Only send from Daedalus, Yoroi or ADA Lite. And you're given plenty of time for the transaction to be confirmed. Please remember it has to be this specific amount of ADA. You can either send to that QR code or copy the address and paste it in your Yoroi, Daedalus or ADA Lite wallets. Now you can only connect one wallet at a time so I'm going to cancel this and head back over to the main dashboard. Now here you can see you have an unsig and when I click on it you can see all of the asset details and you will know that it is an unsig. If I go to sell this token you will see a drop down box appear where you can enter the price that you want to sell the token for. Now I would have already done that and I would have listed this NFT for sale for 150 ADA which is relatively cheap for what it is worth. Now if you guys don't know what unsigs are, I do have a video just dedicated to showing you what they are and how they were created. So I did get an email showing that somebody wanted to purchase this NFT. So I head over here to notifications to see what they say. And it says a buyer has paid for your listing. So in other words, someone has paid for it and all the funds are in escrow. So now I click on go to get more information. On this page, I must complete a three step process. Step one, it was done already where the buyer sent the funds. Now it's up to me now to send the asset and put it in escrow as well. In the event the timer runs out, everyone will be automatically refunded. The buyer and seller can cancel at any point in time before the process is completed. All right, so when I scroll down, I have to send the asset to this particular address here and I'll copy it and head over to my Uroi wallet. Remember, it is the unsig with this number. So this is my Cardano NFT wallet. At this point in time, I want to big up her show she as this is who I'm staking with at the present moment. Anyway, to send your NFT, you go to send and the drop down box, you click the NFT that you want to send. You paste in the receiver address. And because it's one NFT, you can simply type one or send all. You know, like any other transaction, once I click next, I have to enter my spending password. This transaction does call for a small fee of ADA, but that's okay. I'm going to click send. So now I'm going to head back over to the platform. As you can see, the transaction is complete. And that's how easy it is to use this platform. Now as I head back over to my Uroi wallet, I can see all of my pending transactions. I can see the one that I sent and I can also see the funds that I would have received. But let's head back over to the main page and go to the marketplace. I'm going to show you guys how to buy an NFT. Here on the marketplace, you can see a full list of all the NFTs that they have. But if you know the name of your NFT, you can always search for it. In this case, I'm going to type in Daily Dose. 
and I like these NFTs. Simple, yet elegant, and most of all, they're not expensive. So I'm gonna head back to the top now and I'm gonna sort by lowest to highest. And I also like the Solana blockchain, so I'm gonna purchase one of these Solana pills. So this is what the NFT should look like when I'm going to buy it. You get to see all the asset details. Once you click buy, you go to a new page where you have to fill out the three step process once again. In this case now, I have to send funds to the platform in order for them to keep it in escrow. And I have to wait until the buyer sends the NFT. So I'm gonna copy this address and head over to my Your Royal Wallet. In the send tab, I'm going to paste in the receiver address and I'm going to type in exactly 10 ADA and click next. Just like before, I have to enter my spending password. And once that is done, I simply click send. Now the transaction has been broadcasted. I can always head back over and after I wait a few seconds, the transaction should be completed. And there you go, the transaction is successful. If you scroll down, you can see some more information, such as the transaction ID. If you go to your Yoroi wallet, you can also get information about the incoming transaction. As you can see here, I have the asset in my wallet. So this basically brings me to the end of the video. The only two things left to show you guys will be how you can launch your own project on a platform or mint your own tokens. But unfortunately, these two features are not ready as yet. Now I do have a separate tutorial video showing you guys exactly how to create your own Cardano NFTs. So feel free to go and watch that previous video. Now if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share and comment below. If you want to stay up to date with more videos like this, then remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification. If you found value in this video and you want to help contribute to my channel in any small way, you can donate a small amount of ADA to me, or you can click on the link that says buy me a coffee in my description. Either way, I thank you guys for your contributions and your comments. This is Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.